suspected of opening fire in a subway station. An alleged vigilante who police say used the weapon to try to stop a crime. News for Ida Siegel's in Midtown more on the charges that he faces Ida for what the MTA calls a reckless attempt to foil a robbery. Yeah, that's right, David, the MTA and the police saying that. It happened here at the 49th Street subway station behind me last night. That one man who is being called a vigilante fired one shot. He didn't hit anybody, but he is now in custody. Were you trying to protect someone? 43-year-old John wrote in handcuffs tonight, led away from the transit police station in the subway. Police say he is the man they've been looking for since yesterday, who allegedly tried to stop a mugging by firing a gun inside a train station. The video of the incident sent straight to MTA officials. I've looked at the video. It's, I would say, unusual. He certainly looks very calm, pulls out a gun fires two shots, calmly puts the gun back in a bag and walks away. I mean, it is weird. It happened around 9.15 Tuesday night. Police say a 49-year-old man, known for swiping people into the subway and then demanding cash, was also trying to mug a woman at the NRW station at 49th Street and 7th Avenue. That's when police say the so-called subway vigilante pulled out a gun and fired into the air. An action officials say was not only illegal, but incredibly dangerous. Anyone could have been hit by that shot. That shot just went astray. An innocent person, someone walking their child could have gotten hit by a bullet. In this case, no one was hurt and the would-be mugger was arrested, but Rote initially got away. And there was some concern he would try to stop another crime in the same reckless manner. That's not what we need from, from anybody in this system. Law enforcement sources say Rote did not have a gun permit, but even if he did, he still would have broken the law. The only people allowed to take a gun into the subway system are law enforcement. A vigilante just going out there taking justice in his own hands is a dangerous situation. Road has been charged with criminal possession of a weapon, criminal possession of a firearm, menacing and reckless endangerment. Reporting live from Midtown, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York.